I don't shy away from suppressed buy boxes. I love them because that means I can sell it for a higher price. That means more money. So look at a suppressed buy box as a great thing because it is. Hi, and welcome to Your Selling Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki Kirk, aka Your Selling Guide. I'm a small town girl who took a big risk and quit a steady corporate desk job to travel the U.S. in an RV. Along the way, I started selling on Amazon, grew a seven-figure business, visited all the lower 48 states, bought a farm, and today I am still doing what I love to do, selling on Amazon while helping other sellers do it too. Each week, I will share Amazon tips and tricks and bring in guests to share their stories, expertise, and tips on the platforms that they use. Think of this as a sit down with your Amazon bestie where you can learn, ask, start, and grow your online selling business. Welcome to Your Selling Pod. Hey crew, and welcome back. On today's episode, I am going to be explaining the Amazon Buy Box, otherwise known as Featured Offer, and what goes into winning it. So today is a solo show. It's just me chatting about things Amazon, but if you want to hear other sellers, I have got a catalog of past interviewers from Amazon selling, eBay selling, and a whole lot more. And I would love to chat with you. If you sell online on any of the platforms, reach out to me at podcast at yoursellingguide.com because I would love to tell your story on the podcast. I think we learn so much and see ourselves in other people's lives that maybe we wouldn't have thought of. You can find a new you know, friend to follow their journey on Amazon or Etsy or Poshmark or eBay or whatever it is. I just like to bring people together and telling their stories. So again, reach out if you'd like to be on the podcast. It's at podcast at yoursellingguide.com. If you are totally new to Amazon and you're still in that browsing interest phase, be sure to check out my beginner FBA training course to help launch your Amazon business. In it, I have 16 video lessons that walk you through every step of the first six months of your Amazon journey, from setting up your account to finding profitable items, how to source, how to pack up your shipments, how to navigate your Amazon selling account, and so much more. With Q4 approaching, now is a great time to start your Amazon business. So check it out at beginnerfba.com and join me in the group while I help you on your Amazon selling journey. All right, now we're talking about the Amazon Buy Box today, how it works, or at least the best guess of how it works, because of course the Buy Box is an algorithm, just like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. They're not going to give away how their algorithm works, but there is some information that they do tell you and things we can glean from selling on Amazon. In 2023, a lot has changed with how Amazon works, and one of the main things that if you've been selling for a while that you probably had noticed, is that Amazon no longer favors FBA sellers over FBM. So in the past, they used to favor FBA sellers. They would win the buy box more often than an FBM seller or that featured offer. So now, actually, it's pretty equally mixed. So FBA and FBM sellers are winning the buy box as Amazon scales back how much the inventory they themselves are holding and how much fees now are increasing with Amazon warehouses and FBA. So now there are actually, it's almost like they're incentivizing us to do FBM. So just the same, that featured offer, that buy box, it's now equally rotated between the two. So in this podcast, I'm walking you through what has changed as far as that, as well as how the buy box works, and then most of all, how not to be a price tinker, right? Because hopefully if you're selling on Amazon, you're doing so to make money like I am, and we aren't making money if we're racing to the bottom and losing out on all of our profit. Sometimes it's just new sellers who maybe don't understand, or possible that they were taught by another seller who didn't understand that you don't have to undercut the buy box to win the sell. So jumping right in, what is the Amazon buy box? What is that featured offer? Well, that's one of the first things that changed like two or three years ago now. It's been changed to called featured offer, although we still refer to it as the buy box. It's that whole offer that you see there on Amazon with that add to cart or buy now offer. It's featured. It's got a whole box of it. So that's why it's no longer the buy box, that little button of buy now. It's now the featured offer. And what is it featuring? It's featuring an offer from a seller. So I'm going to pull up an Amazon product page. If you're watching here on YouTube, you, I will show it on the video. But otherwise, I'm going to walk you through it for those of us listening in. So this is a 12 Days of Christmas 
um, honey jam spread. I used to sell it. I got it at Sam's Club. Anyways, so here at the top, I see that the $19.99 is the featured offer price. Then I see fast free delivering. I can get it by X date. Or if I want to pay for more for shipping, I can get it even sooner. What is that? Five days sooner by Wednesday. And then it tells me here, because I have Keepa installed as a Chrome extension, I can see that there. this seller currently has five in stock. Then you see the add to cart, the buy now button. And then you can see who it is coming from. So ships from Marketplace Services sold by Marketplace Services. That tells me since it's shipping from and sold by the same seller that this is an FBM seller. That's why at, at the top I can see that there's another shipping option because the seller has a free shipping and then they have an expedited shipping for those who want to get it faster. Now, when I click on these other offers, so that whole box there is called the featured offer. Right below it is these other new and used offers from. There I'm going to see all the other offers that are eligible to rotate in. What does that mean to be eligible to rotate in? Before I jump into the eligibility, I just want to quickly cover suppressed buy box because I get that question a lot. The suppressed buy box is where you would have to click to see the offers. It doesn't have that featured offer buy box there. That is nothing to worry about. In fact, that just means you're going to make more money. Usually it's when Amazon puts it there as a way because they think it's priced too high. So I don't know. They're going to hide the price from the customer like that's going to do anything. I can still buy it. In fact, people still do buy it. I don't shy away from suppressed buy boxes. I love them because that means I can sell it for a higher price. That means more money. So look as a suppressed buy box as a great thing because it is. There's nothing quite like that sound of a new order coming through on your Amazon account. But do you know how much you're actually making on those orders? Your Selling Podcast is excited to partner with Sellerboard. Sellerboard is an accurate profit analytics for Amazon sellers as well as eBay. With just a quick login to the app or your dashboard on a desktop, you can see what your true numbers are for all of your Amazon orders by the day, week, or month. I love to use it to forecast out how I'm going to do that month and use it for my planning. Sellerboard doesn't just tell you your profit though, they actually do so much more. So if you're creating a private label listing or you're making your own bundles, you can use Sellerboard to get reviews for your product pages. Sellerboard is a robust profit analytics tool and I use it every day in my Amazon business. You can try Sellerboard yourself, connect it to your Amazon or eBay accounts and see how it works for you. Get two months free by going to yoursellingguy.com slash sellerboard profit. Again, that's yoursellingguy.com slash sellerboard profit. Try Sellerboard today and get the true profit picture of how your business is doing. Okay, so how do you become eligible for the buy box? First up, if anyone ever tells you that you need to be the lowest price, they are wrong and you should question everything else they've told you about selling on Amazon. Dropping the price, undercutting is false. That is not what makes you win the buy box. It's actually really old school thinking because back in the day before there was these super smart algorithms, they would prioritize the lowest price seller. But now there's so much that goes into being the featured offer that the lowest price may not actually be helping your business. It might be hurting it by you losing out on money. Now, I can just keep saying that you don't have to be lowest price, or I can actually show you in action. So here is an example of something that, again, I found. I see it every time I go outsourcing. And if you now know after this, you'll look for it yourself. But here's how you can see that the featured offer is not always the lowest price. So if you're watching this again on YouTube, I'm going to show you the screenshots. But for everyone listening, I will detail explain it so that you can check it out when you get home or to your phone. When you are scanning a product, you know how that first screen, it has all the different items, or maybe it's only the one item, and it's got the title, it's got a tiny photo, and you can see the featured offer price. Right there is the price of the seller who currently has the featured offer on the product page. So the example we're looking at right here, it's an insole, and it has a featured offer price right here on this first screen that is 21 
From there is where you would click into the screen where it has the larger image, it's got the product title, and it tells you what the low price sellers are for FBM and FBA if Amazon is selling it, and then you would click through to the profit screen from there. While you're on that first screen though, you'll notice that the lowest price sellers are $19.99 for FBA and $18.57 for FBM. So neither one of those sellers who are the lowest price is currently in the buy box. The featured offer, again, is 21. That is two to three dollars more than those low price sellers. So like I said, you're gonna see these examples all the time when you're scanning if you pay attention to that first screen. The first screen, normally what I would look at is just the rank, but now I look at the rank and what that featured offer is. So hopefully now we've established the lowest price does not mean that you win the buy box. So let's dive into the other factors that do feature into the buy box rotation. First is your selling account. So if you have an individual free plan, you are not eligible to be in the featured offer buy box. You can make a sell because you'll be in those other offers box, but you won't ever be in that featured offer box. So that is one thing to consider if you're just kind of on the fence about this whole Amazon thing and you just do the free plan, just know at the end of the day, you won't ever win that featured offer. And so it's going to be harder to win the sale, which could and then in turn make you think that you're not really working, that it's not working and you're not selling anything, but it could just be your plan. So if you have the professional plan that's $39 a month, then you are eligible for that featured box rotation. The buy box rotation also takes into account your customer service rating. So how is your customer service? If you're doing FBA only, then you're probably perfectly fine because your customer service is happening from Amazon and you probably have positive reviews. But if your seller reviews are negative, that is gonna start to factor into your Amazon buy box rotation. If you're a brand new seller and you have just launched, don't worry, those reviews will come and your account is just fine. If you sell things FBM, then your order defect rate must be below 1% and your shipping performance rate also has to be in the 1%. So you wanna make sure that those are in good standing so that you're winning the buy box as an FBM seller. So head to menu and performance and you're gonna see there your account health where you'll see those customer service metrics. Next up, the factors are your products. So your item has to be new. They're not gonna give the buy box to a used offer. Now that's not across the board because things like books are a lot of times selling used or if a new item is no longer made or out of stock, then a new or used item or a collectible item is probably gonna win the buy box. But because we're doing retail arbitrage, we're selling stuff new, new condition, and it has to be new to win the buy box. The offer who wins the buy box is also the offer out of all of them that has the fastest shipping and free shipping. So if you are FBA, obviously you're fine, right? Because your item is shipping from Amazon and so that's fast and free to the customer with prime shipping. If you are listing FBM, you can win the buy box by making customers pay for shipping, but you're more likely to win it if you offer free shipping to the customers. Now that's not always possible, but just know that free fast shipping is what Amazon prioritizes. You always wanna pad in the shipping price to your FBM orders. So knowing that you're gonna have to ship it, pad that price in so you're able to offer free shipping and win the buy box. If you're selling FBM now more than ever before, Amazon will and can give you the buy box even over FBA sellers because the next thing that factors in is your stock availability. When you're sending stuff FBA, you probably notice that FC transfer will take quite a while after you've actually shipped it. In that case, your FBM handling time might be faster than other people's in stock, and so you're gonna win the buy box. Another factor is where your stock is relative to where the customer is. So if your stuff is located in Florida, your customers are maybe in Georgia, Alabama, they are gonna see your offer in the buy box. If there's an FBA seller who has stuff in California and there's a customer in California, they might see the California offer. All of this is a factor into who wins the buy box because at the end of the day, Amazon is looking out for the customer and they wanna look out for the customer by offering fastest delivery and cheapest. So fast, free shipping is how you're gonna win the buy box over 
lowering the price, taking the price, but where your stock is, the availability of it. Again, if your stuff is transferring around, you dropping your price to try to win the buy box is doing yourself a disservice because your stock is not available. Amazon's going to give it to another FBA seller who is available or an FBM seller who can get it to the customer fast. So when you're pricing your items and you're looking at all of this information about, oh, I'm not winning the buy box, make sure you're not checking your stuff until it's actually available, done transferring around. Because if it's transferring around, again, customer is prioritized with fast, free shipping. If it's going to take a couple weeks to get to them, you are not going to win that buy box. And then lastly, price is a factor. Obviously, it's not going to not be a factor. But as I've shown again and again, it does not have to be the lower price. You can actually raise your price and win the buy box because Amazon is caring about getting it to the customer fast. That is their priority. If you happen to see price tanking happening, just let the seller sell out. Look and see if they just launched. Look and see on Keepa or the, with the Chrome extension, how many? How many do they have in stock? Are you racing to the bottom on a seller who has one? Just let them sell out. Now, the guidelines I give in both the Bolo group and in just new sellers in general is the guidelines to help limit your buys ahead of time, limit your risk on when I buy a product and how to send it in. So for me, it looks like I have to have at least $5 minimum profit, 50% IOI. This allows for the wiggle room if the price should fall. And also, I price my things high when I send them in. So I price them a dollar or two above the buy box when I send it in. Because what happens is when I send it in, maybe the lower seller sold out. Now the price is starting to go up. And now I don't want to be the lower seller. I want to make money, right? So I'm going to price it ahead of time. When it gets to where it's landing, it's done FC transfer. Then I go ahead and I look at the pricing and how I can win the buy box or if I'm winning the buy box. Another consideration before you buy it is thinking about where you found it. Did you find it easily at Walmart or was it a little hard to find at TJ Maxx? Is it a gated brand or category or is it a high traffic item that anyone can find? I use Keepa to see if Amazon is sold out, if the price is a high fluke price or if it's a normal steady price, if the sales rank is steady. I do all of this information ahead of time so that I know that if I'm priced within 5% of the current buy box that I can win the buy box. If you want to pull a report and you're interested to know how much and how often your products are featured in the buy box, you can go to Seller Central, head to Reports, Business Reports, and under the heading Buy ASIN, go ahead and select the first option, which is called Detailed Page Sales and Traffic. When you click that, you'll see right in your Amazon account, you'll scroll over to a column called Featured Offer Buy Box Percentage, and that's going to tell you how often you are in the buy box. You might be surprised because when you look at the overall, like on your Amazon screen, when you first enter Seller Central, it might say you're only getting the buy box 1% of the time, 2% of the time. That's what mine says. But when you go to these, you know you're getting the buy box because you're making sales and you'll see this report. You're actually winning the buy box quite often. It is very easy to get into the thinking that you are not getting the buy box and you will maybe be surprised to see just how much you actually are. So don't freak out if you see the price start to take or you see the 1% and you think you're not getting the buy box. If your items are good with good ranks, they will sell. You may need to wait a few weeks or a month to get the profit out of it that you want, but don't shortchange your hard work. Make the money, make your time, and turn that item into a replen. That's what we're all after, right? Lowering your price is not a thing that you have to do all the time on Amazon. You can raise your price. You can wait the prices out. You can leave your price as is, but be an active member of your business and looking at those things, running the reports to just see the real facts of the matter, not just what you think is happening. Thank you guys so much for listening. Hopefully that helps give you a better breakdown of what goes into the buy box and price is just one of many factors. As always, I will be back next week with another episode. You can follow along in your favorite podcast player or on YouTube at Your Selling Podcast. Please take a moment to review me wherever you are listening to this podcast. It means a lot to me, and I thank you so much. Until next week, happy sourcing.